In this video, we are going to be looking at uh, cost minimization. Uh, when you talked about cost minimization, we are minimization. We are looking at a situation whereby a producer is trying to reduce the cost of production so that he can get more profit. If you look at the question we have here, that the producer has a production function of 5k power 0.5 power 0.5 and buys k as 12 dollars. So it means that to get a unit of k for that particular uh, producer, he's going to spend 12 dollars, and to get the labor. So it's going to spend nine dollar. That just in labor is going to spend nine dollar. So what input combination will minimize cost of producing one and ninety units of output? So the question is talking about what is talking about here is that the, how many units of labor and how many units of capital will this producer you know needs to to produce one hundred ninety units if he wants to minimize his cost. So to solve this kind of question cost minimization, the first thing for you to do, please note, the first thing for you to do is just to form your cost equation. And how do we form our cost equation? Simply we just write our C, which is the cost, equals, and we have labor, that one unit of labor is 9. So $9 multiplied by any amount of units of labor you want to have. Plus, don't forget you have capital also, and one the unit of capital is 12. So multiply by any amount of capital you want to use, which is going to be what? 12k. So when you sum the, the, the number of labor multiplied by is uh, our price and the number of capital multiplied by its price, when you sum it together, you're going to get your cost uh, cost equation. So this is our cost equation. Having understood the cost equation, now then we quickly introduce our Lagrangian. So when we get our Lagrangian, then we can just simply write. So, but if you are writing your Lagrangian, you write your objective function, which is cost equation plus. So you write your 9 uh, plus 12k plus lambda bracket. So when you open the bracket, now the first thing you write here is the number of units of output you want to produce, which is 190. You know, your own might be different. You know, the question given to you by lecture might be different, but as far as I'm concerned, just have it at the back of your mind that when you open the bracket, the next thing for you to write is that number. number uh, of units of output which you want to produce, which is for this question is 190 minus your cost, your production function, your production function. Just put your production function here, which is 5k and then put 5 here. You close the bracket. Now, having done this now, quickly now we can simplify. So, if you want to simplify this now, I want to open the bracket here. So, I just write 9l plus 12k. Plus lambda, use lambda to open it. Plus times plus will give you plus. Lambda times this will give you 190 lambda. Or I can, I can let me put it lambda 190. Then plus times minus minus lambda times this production function is going to give me lambda 5k power 0.5 and power 0.5. Then the next thing for us to do quickly, immediately you have simplified, then you, what you have to do first is just to take the partial derivative. You take the partial derivative with respect to labor, partial derivative with respect to capital, and partial derivative with respect to lambda. Now, that is why you need the knowledge of partial derivative. So if I want to take it now, let me take partial derivative with respect to L first. Change in L. So if I want to take partial derivative of this now, so what am I going to do? I will take partial derivative of 9L. 9L now, this function, the differential 9L. So we differentiate 9 here, we have it 9. I'm differentiating 9 here because I'm differentiating with respect to L. Like this 12k now, I don't have L here, so I don't differentiate here. Then even lambda, I don't have L here, I don't differentiate here. Then I have L in this cost product, in this production function, I have to differentiate with respect to L. So if I'm differentiating with respect to L, I'm going to minus, then 0 0.5 on the L here will come down, so that's normal differentiation. Lambda 5k. 0 0.5. You need to know how to do the transition. That is something you do yourself. You know, that is something you can do about that. So when you have it, everything will equal zero. So I can still simplify now. I'll just write my nine. So the minus here, this value here, this cost product value, the, the, the value here, I take it to the other side. I will have my equal sign. And this will become plus now. 0 0.5 lambda 5k power 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5. I can rewrite it. I just you know, put it to the other side. Now I can go to the right, then this can go to the come to the left. The sign will not change because I'm writing the same value. So I'm, I'm writing 0 0.5 lambda 5k power 0 0.5 and this power minus 5. 
equals 9. This is my first equation. Could you recall that I asked, I said we are going to differentiate with respect to three things. The first one, L, which is labeled. The second one, capital. The third one, lambda. So we've done the first one. Let me write my answer in the of this case. For the first equation. 0.5 lambda 5a plus 0.5 L equals 9. Let me rub this because of the space. Now, I want to differentiate the stress of the second, which is the K. The stress of the K. So, K is not here, I think it's away. K, I'll be having 12. K is not here, K is here. So, I'll have minus 0 0.5 lambda 5A minus 0 0.5 L 0 0.5. Everything equals 0. The same thing I did in the first one, I just transferred the value here to the other side. I'll be having 12 equals 0 0.5 lambda 5A by 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. I can just take it side by side. Now this value will come here, the other will go here. Sign will not change. I have 0 0.5 lambda 5k. I might be writing it here. 0 0.5 and equals 12. This is my second equation. So I can write my second equation here because of the space of 2. 0 0.5 lambda 5k. equals 12. That's the second equation. Then, what is the third one? Can someone tell me the third one? Can someone tell me the third one now? I'm taking partial derivatives with respect to what now? I mentioned labor capital and what? Can you recall? Oh, that's lambda, yes. So let's differentiate with respect to lambda now. Let's differentiate with respect to lambda. Okay? With respect to lambda. No lambda here, no lambda here. Lambda is here, I'll be having 190. Lambda is here, I'll be having 5k 0.5. Don't forget, we use this function to take the pressure derivative, you know, of each of the uh, the item in there. So this one will also equal zero. So I can do the same thing. I'll be having 190 equals 5k L 0.5. Just take it to the other side. So this is my third one now. 190 equals 5k uh, 0.5 L. Okay. Now, having done this quickly now, so what's the next part to do? Then we are going to divide equation one by equation two. Divide what? Equation one by equation. Divide what? Equation one by equation two. So this is my equation one here. I have 0 0.5 lambda 5k power 0.5 L equals 9 over the second equation. 0 0.5 lambda 5k. You need the knowledge of indices here, please. If you don't know the indices, please, you might find it difficult. So you have to go back to learn that. Is that my 5 cancel here? Lambda cancel lambda. 5 cancel 5. You know, power power, there will be minus in between them, the indices. So the minus here, multiply by minus will be plus. So you'll be having 1. Here is power 1. For the L, minus is here, minus times this, minus 5, minus 5, minus 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5 will give you L raised to the power 1, minus 1. Then we have it 9 over 12. Now, so what I can simply do here now, look at what I have here now. K times L power minus 1. I can write it as K, K times 1 over L, don't forget. We have something like this, it means 1 over L. So, K times 1, I'll be having K over L. So, I can write it as K over L over L equals 9 over 12. 9 over 12. So, at this point, I can just cross multiply. So, I'll be having K times 12, which is 12a equals 9l by 12 by 12. I grab this. I want to make this of the formula. I will have it k equals 0.75l. Please confirm that. Confirm that, please. 0.75l. So when I have my 0.75l, 
I have my zero point seven five as my head, as my uh, k, as my k. So I will go back to my third equation now. Now, substitute now. After you have gotten your k, then you will. I'm taking it now. You will now substitute the value for k. So we are having zero point seven five n as our k now, which is in our third equation where we differentiated with respect to lambda, which is this. So we can just write it out. Please, I have to rub off this. I have to rub off this. I have to rub off this. Please. Can I do that? Okay, no problem. So, so I'm taking from here now, which is 190 equals 5k 0.5 and 0.5. So I'll be writing 190 equals 5 my k. What is my k? 0.75 l. Power power what? 0 0.5. Don't forget the L 0 0.5. So I can divide both sides by 5 now. This side and this side by 5. So that 5 can cancel out 5. I can be having 38 here equals 0 0.75 L bracket 0 0.5 L 0 0.5. Now, if you look at the value, I can split it so that I can get it now. Don't forget 0 0.75 is raised to the power 0 0.5 and L also raised to the power 0 0.5. Both 0 0.75 and L have this 0 0.5. So, I can write as 38 to simplify now. 38 is 0 0.75 power 0 0.5 times L 0 0.5 power 0 0.5 times L 0 0.5. So, I'm writing this first. Putting this zero power zero point five, I'm writing L again. Putting power zero point five, then this L zero point five. Please, do you understand what I'm doing? You can simply just confirm what I'm doing. If you don't understand, please confirm what I'm doing. If you don't understand, it is very very simple. You just have to get it right. If you look at it very well now, if you look at it very well, if you, you can just start here like thirty eight equals. Then when you find 0 0.75 power 0 0.5, what is it going to give us? What is it going to give us? 0 0.866. That's going to give us 0 0.75 0 raised to power 0 0.05. 0 0.866. That's the value of this. And 0 0.5 no, times is here. This is going to be plus power. This is going to be 1. So, so this is what we have. So I can just divide both sides by 0 0.86. 0 0.866. You see? This will go away, this will go away. Then my if you, if, can someone help us with that? Can someone help us with that? 0 0.38 divided by 0 0.866. What is it going to give us? Okay, it's going to give us 43.880. Thank you. 43.80. So we are going to have 43.88. It, it equals L. That's our L. It's as simple as that. That's our L. That's our L. 880. You can just put 88. That's our L. So when you have your L now, when you have your L, you cannot have the real value for K. Don't forget our K is 0 0.75. So since our K is 0 0.75, I can say, therefore, 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 k, I'm starting from here, k equals, you know, k is 0 0.75 n. So I can say k equals 0 0.75 times 43.88. Instead of writing n. So what is, someone should effort 0 0.75 times 43.88. What's going to be the value? What's going to be the, be the value for that? So that's going to be 32.91. 32.91. So my L, the number of units of labor, the the look at the question now. What input combination? The input combination will now be 43.88 of labor and for the K 32.91. That's what we are asked to do. That's our final answer. Sometimes you might ask, you might be asked to find the uh, cost, that is total cost. So then therefore. Total cost equals that is cost function. I can just write cost. 
So you just put your cost function for the total cost. If you have to find total cost for the cost function, don't forget our cost function is a 9n plus 12k. So you just cost equals the cost of producing that one hour and 90 minutes now. You now be 9 multiplied by n. 43.8 bracket plus 12 bracket k 32.91 so whatever you get for this that is your total cost in case by extension the examiner can ask you to find the cost after you have gotten your n and k so then you can just get your cost you know equation you start the value of n and k and you get your final answer. please subscribe and get more of our videos thank you